up in competition for Desmond Cole. One might say he's stepped up every time he's gotten the opportunity to step to the plate. Tonight, it's home run derby. Alec Price waiting in the wings. Second longest reigning Limitless Wrestling World Champion of all time. The most title defenses of all time. You know, Johnny, I feel a little bit responsible. Dating back four months ago at the Vacation Land Cup, I was nowhere to be seen. A certain Alex Price is here putting his commentary track down. Well, there was a little bit of a meeting of the minds and an exchanging of the words. And I do believe that Alex Price has been in the back of that man's mind since this past August. Tonight, these two are fixing to get it off. No doubt about it. No shortage of barbs ex bar exchanged between the two. Desmond Cole has won three of his last five. Continues to find more and more solid footage every time we see him step into a limitless wrestling ring. Now more than ever does he need that solid footing. The ace of Beyond Wrestling. Might as well call him the ace of limitless wrestling. The Northeast Beast for a reason. Alan Rice. Sub Bone Storm Champion for 310 days. ESW Interstate Champion, Northeast Beast. 161 days on the Interstate Championship run. The former Limitless World Champion, 315 days. Second only to one Anthony Green's run. Potentially the greatest Limitless Wrestling World Champion of all time. You know, that could be contested. Anthony Green's title run Amidst the pandemic, you're curious as to how many title bouts he lost through the pandemic. Alan Price defending that Limitless Wrestling Championship, not just here in Limitless, but at Limitless All Wrestle. over. All around the That's the thing. It's the metric for you. If you go by length, AG's got him by a good 80 days plus. If you go by defenses, like defense. Anthony Green and Garcia are tied at seven apiece. Alan Price here. That's this is a big fight field. I, I have been waiting for these two to get it on since August. The powers that be are going to kick this year off right. Welcome to the first half of our show. This could have just as easily, if there were no shenanigans earlier between Channing Thomas and Ricky Morton, I believe that this is going to be our main event this evening. Introducing first in the corner to my right, from straight out of the gate, weighing in at 206 pounds, the big Bufa, Desmond Cole! I need every bit of that capo background here tonight. Get crafty against Alec Price. His opponent in the corner to my left from the Prize City. Weighing in at 175 pounds, the Prize City OG, the North East Beast, the Prize, Alec Price! First time ever matchup, and I am jazzed up Johnny Torres. Let's go. Hope all of you watching at home on IWTV are jazzed up right along with us. Let us know using the hashtag hard to handle. First half main event on tap. Alec Price, winner of four of his last five. The lone blemish being to the current defending champion, Ace Romero. Alec Price. Wasting no time getting that rhythm back, that tempo back here in Yarmouth. And he's gonna need every beat of that rhythm. Standing across from the Capoeira Master, you said it, Top Chef. It's a unique, it's a unique style. You know, formerly a dance, it turned combat, and you know, he uses it to his advantage. We talk about Alec Price being the one that's the most comfortable on these ropes here at Limitless Wrestling. He doesn't like it. He believes that Desmond Cole, all right. Yes. All right. It was never about disrespect, but Alec Price himself even said, it's like, I feel like some of these younger guys, or at the very least guys that are newer to Limitless, are putting their feet on his couch. They're coming into his house with their shoes on and putting their feet on their couch. And I got to just remind people. Of yes, whose indeed. couch that belongs. He had said it he had, ever since he left. The inmates have been running the asylum. Price City OG returning to it as he has always coined it, his hood. 
When you talk about all these people putting the feet on the couch, talk about newcomers to Limitless this past year, you talk about Desmond Cole. You talk about an up-down Andy Brown. Yes, the indeed. list goes on and on of people that are going to be ready to start gunning for that Limitless Wrestling Championship. Alec Price does not want these people to forget who he is. And they don't want to forget that Alec Price, whenever he's so ready, is ready to be back in that number one contender status. Just like that. Even after, after losing the championship, victorious over Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. Victorious over Mike McCarthy. Wasting no time getting back in the driver's seat. Wastelock firmly cinched in on the big boot of Desmond Cole. And he's so slick with it. Alec Price, always in the lab. Interesting, Alec Price gonna try to keep him grounded. And he knows that he likes to use those ropes. He can fly with the best of them. That swanton bomb of his has spelled disaster for many people here in Limitless Wrestling. <laughs> yes, indeed. Gets all that height and lands with such authority. Alec Price doing the right thing, feeling out the other ends of the big booth, the other ends of the game that might not have yet been tested. Alec Price nips back up. Alec Price back up onto his feet. Gonna be trying to feel it out. You can see he's got that that, sl that blade there, that sling blade. We call the sling blade is over a sling along the shoulder of Alec Price. Racing up the shoulder there. You know, he says, he says he's got he says he's got a wear from how he carries the Northeast on his back. So the New York native, Desmond Cole. Gonna say, gonna be a, like I said, a feeling out process. And Alec Price gonna give up his props here. Uh, Alec knows. Again, extending the hand. I don't feel good enough. Yeah, there we go. And that's the Oh, wait a minute. Desmond Cole the reversal leap frogs over. Rolls through, does Alec Price back over up to his own feet. Garbage! 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 Kick. Going up behind Rogerio's funeral home, folks. What is that? Desmond Cole. Kip up onto his feet. And we go back to the hotel, baby. In too deep. Yeah, getting a little in too deep. Alec Price returning the swivel of the hips. I think Desmond Cole was two years old when In Too Deep came out. Just saying. Just throwing that out. Thought we were about to break into a dance off here. Nah. He's, he's not wrestling me tonight. No. Nah, no. Shoots him to the buckle. Does Maybe another Cole. time. Up and over, lands on his team. Try to bring him in off the ropes. Ducks up to that clothesline, flows through, roll through. Sunset flip cover, too. Only a count of two. Now, uh, Alec Price. There's the Irish whip. Watch for Desmond Cole with the flying head scissors. Nicely done, Desmond Cole. You know, we talk about big match feel here at Limitless. I don't believe that this is just Desmond Cole's biggest Limitless wrestling matchup. I think that this is the biggest matchup of his young career. I'm with it. Cole, Hands on his feet to the floor. Alec Price very quick back in there. Front is over. Desmond Cole back in now. Got to wonder how long they're going to be able to keep up at this play pace. And Alec Price slows him right down. Gets way back up. No wasted motion. Had to find a way to get in and get in tight there. He does that. Oh, back intercepted. Him Turns himself inside out with a drop kick. Nicely done, Alec Price. Now Desmond Cole recently got his first taste of main of, of main event appearances at Limitless versus Blitzkrieg against one VSK. Got a, got a chance to settle into deep waters, and now that experience will hopefully pay dividends against Alec Price, but it's a different kind of monster, a different kind of beast, if you will. The North East Excellent contest against VSK. Shout out to old Vinny SK. Our Limitless versus Blitz show this past October. You find that on night one on IWTV. Right alongside with Alec Price and Hot Sauce Tracy Williams as well. What a night of action that was. Friendly competition. Nicely done. Alec Price with a drop kick. Going to take his time. He gets to the cover though now too. Only two. Not a long two either. Desmond Cole is here for the long. He's here for the long run. The amount of poise that Alec Price has picked up during the time that we've both been commentating him. Once upon a time, a two count, he would have snapped. Now, calm under the collar. Settling into the front chance. The crowd is split here. Very pro Desmond Cole crowd here today with the chance of Big Boopa. Ringing true here in Yarmouth, Maine at the Ambats. Yeah, emboldened by the crowd, firing off the knife edges, but Alec Price, that European uppercut, landing home, corner to corner, the climbing knee strike, got all of it. Now, will we see another? 
Finger extended. Malachi's how many more times? We're gonna find out. Is he trash though? Is he? Tough to ah. on those ropes. Sure footed. Emergency, no. Spikes the soul butt, yes. Desmond Cole follows him in. Nicely done, right back over, right back in. The quickness of Desmond Cole, uncanny. Goes up, Spanish fly. From the second rope. Nicely done, Bufa. Alec Price, oh no, it hit him. Now Alec Price is out. One of New York City's finest maneuvers. I don't think Desmond Cole's aware of it. If he could have got into a cover there, I think he might have had him. What an upset. Both combatants floored here and hard to handle. First half main event action. Desmond Cole feeding off the energy here at the Armand Dam. That's coming in hot. Floors the prize twice. Faints into the sweep. Alec Price feeling it. You gotta wonder how much that shoulder is injured. Desmond Cole strips him up. No, not quite. Alec Price floats over. Nice split. Nicely done. There's that combo background. Yes, indeed. Paying dividends there, Johnny. Planted it firmly up the side the head of Alec Price. But Alec Price, Mero Fuji, round the way. Blue Thunder Bob. Gets him. Oh, my goodness. Speed is there for a second. I had to just catch my breath. I thought he had him. Desmond Cole, what an unbelievable victory this would be for him. But yeah. Alex Price cannot afford to lose this one. We talked about what's been going on for Rip Bison. We talked about Becca's victory streak right now. This guy, multiple victories, wants to get back into contention for that limitless wrestling champion. As that winner of four of his last five, this could be. This could be what gets him back. Bufa now, gut wrench. Strength of Bufa. What is that? What's he gonna do with it? Try to turn around. Gets him, Alec Price, only two. A great reversal from Alec Price, finds the opening. Low bridge from Desmond Cole. Desmond Cole, gonna have to capitalize here. And he's comfortable in there. Oh my word! Hangs him absolutely out to dry. Oh my goodness, and that could be it. Double jump, lands the Bulldog. Nicely done by Alec Price, Desmond Cole. Trying to figure out where he is. Emergency! An emergency, that leg drop from the second cover, and only two. Nicely done. Desmond Cole digging deep to find that kick out. And Alec. Johnny, didn't I tell, how long have I been telling you? The second that this was finally announced, I told you that this, this has the capabilities of being the match of the year right here on the first show. Listen to this crowd. This crowd. Resilient for that resilient young man, Desmond Cole. Alec Price, though, firmly in the driver's seat. Poop is going to need to put that love to work. Desmond Cole's used to being with the pacing. Usually, he is the one that sets that pace. He's not used to someone just the way he countered that. My goodness, hung him out to dry over that top rope. Now we're in the pocket. Desmond Cole returns fire. Watch the elbow. Big elbow lands flush. Got a rip cord. He hits a Gary. He hits a Gary to the back of the head. Desmond Cole. Oh, nice German suplex out of nowhere. Now looking to stack up. Maybe that brain buster. No. Across the knee. Bust a brain right there. Now he's taking off. Good. Grand prize. Haven't seen the grand prize in a while. Only two, how? How? But if the grand prize doesn't get it done. Oh my goodness, when Desmond Cole does come too, I think he's got a kick to the back of the head, waiting for him in the name called Surprise, Johnny Torres. The final tool in the toolbox. It ain't gonna be a surprise for us here in Yarmouth. We know what's coming. I don't think Desmond Cole is aware yet. Desmond Cole, that's if he can get himself. That scowl on the face of Alec Price. You see Tony D just zooming in right there. He knows what he's seeing right there. This could be the finish. Gets him. No, no. The back door, the O'Connor oh, roll. Gets him. Oh, only two, only two. Oh, I thought he caught him. Up now and over goes Desmond Cole. Alec Price rolls through, rolls through, back up to his feet at Desmond Cole. Catches him, trembling kick. Once again lands with that kick to the back of the neck. Gonna look for that brain buster now. Watch Gets the nip. Suplex. 
Back to his feet. Impressive. Nothing short of impressive from Desmond Cole. And now, gut wrench. Got to gonna have to use that power. Has to power him up, and that he does. Lays down into the power bomb, into the cover. Two, only two. I believe at this point, Top Shelf, each have that final tool in the bottom drawer of the toolbox waiting for them. For Desmond Cole, you forecasted earlier, that swanton bond. For Alec Price, everybody knows, surprise. The surprise can come from anywhere. I'm curious. Desmond Cole has to lay him out first. He's got to find a way to keep the man down long enough. Get up there. Drop that bomb. He's getting back up here. Alec Price on the outside. Desmond Cole going to try to bring him back in. Big forearm from Alec Price. Great space. Desmond comes in hot. Joins him on the apron. Able to hold on there and land on the apron. Four arms. Back and forth. Tit for tat here. Hufa and Alec Price. Both combatants. You see the cracks growing in the respective armor. You say you got to muster up that strength, but you cannot take too much time. Alec Price now stacking up the right elbows, mixing it up with the left kick. This kick. The step off. Probably not an emergency. Gets him, does Bufa, shoots him off into the buckle. Catch some of the DDT! Dangerous. On, on that apron, and Alec Price. The impact on the apron and then the landing on the floor. What a contest so far. This is what I expect. This is better than what I expected, Johnny Torres. Only one man can win, though. I went into this with no expectations because why bother setting them? They're just going to exceed them. So can't get over. What a big win this would be for Fufa. Nicely done and lands on his feet. That's an athlete right there if I've ever seen one. Alec Price had mocked the hip swivel of the hips for Big Boof, a Big Boof, a mocking Alec Price, the pistols to the dome, and it, now. There it is. We told Johnny Torres this is what he needed. Might put him through the canvas. Nobody there. Nobody home. Alec Price with the wherewithal to get out of the way. Now, wait a minute now. Price smells blood. Price, right. look at the look on that man's face. His eyes locked with Desmond Cole. Desmond Cole knows what's coming, but he has no position yes, to answer. That is it. Academic put it on the board for Alex Price. Here is your winner, the prize, Alex Price. That was nothing short of an outstanding contest. And Alex Price, once again, John Torres, proves why he is the eighth, the Northeast Beast. But that man right there, Desmond Cole, I believe that he just punched his ticket. Introducing first in the corner to my right from Washington, D.C., the Kick Demon, Janai Khan. opponent to my immediate left hailing from Columbus, Ohio, your favorite international pop star, Becca! Becca, big win over Gary J. Our last outing at Limitless Wrestling fell to Alec Rice. The main event beyond wrestling. Heavy flies the ground. But still professing that she is the toughest, hardest, uh, wrestler in the world, so I, I respect the confidence and this. And I this respect the show of well. respect that I am surprised we just saw here in the early going. And perhaps Becca knows she needs to change something up. Maybe doesn't want to bring that brashness to the ring against Janai Kai because she will make you pay every Ex single time. Exactly, and that's the thing with Janai. Unlike a lot of other competitors, she holds multiple black belts in Taekwondo, Muay Thai, kickboxing. So, uh, what is in her arsenal goes beyond pro wrestling, and she can drop that knowledge at the drop of a hat. But Becca uh, looking to, oh, never mind. Janai here flipping out of that, but a little bit of chain going on right now. What do you think that Becca's gonna have to do in order to avoid those kicks that can come out of nowhere with such ferocity, Troy? I'm gonna have to tell you right now, that's the thing, it's a matter of technique. 
Some people say don't sweat the technique. You have to sweat the technique. I do believe that Janai Kai is up there with Mike Bailey for some of the most educated feet in professional wrestling. And that is no understatement. I mean that. Heck, she's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mike Bailey. So what do you do if you're Becca to make that type of evasion? Becca is crafty. She has always proven that. And I think she's proven that against the expense of somebody like a Gary J in recent months. I think that she's done it in the past with wins against Anthony Green. She is very well-traveled for someone that's only been a part of the wrestling business for under four years at this point. Yeah, and both of these ladies, uh, like you said, in the business for about the same amount of time, uh, similar. Oh, could we have a pin? Yes, we do, quick cover. Greenleaf says only two. Only two, but Becca staying on Janai Kai here. Uh, Janai Kai's five years of experience to Becca's uh, four. And we've got Becca doing some, oh, second rope action there. That's where that acrobatic ability of Becca comes into play. Oh, big drop kick. And she's going to have to use that speed and agility along with that um, overbearing confidence, shall we say, uh, to I, escape those kicks. I haven't quite kicks. seen that overbearing confidence rear its head yet. She's kept things pretty respectful. And that's the thing, you got to keep your head on a swivel. She's done that so far. Now she's you know, calling out unfair play. Unfair play. Kicks are legal. They've never not been legal in professional wrestling. Yeah, it's just a matter of not maybe liking where those kicks wind up. I know all too well. Janai Kai, one half of the tandem Yokai, partner yo -Yo. I'm gonna say, Now she's calling around saying, like, yeah, do you want to wrestle, Becca? That's what she's saying. Show me that respect again. What is Becca going to do? Now it's time to make a decision. Janai Kai reels her in to the buckle. Up and over goes Becca, rolls through, lands on her feet. Very nicely done. Oh, oh. that's. See, I did that. She's, uh, I did that in Philadelphia, and I, I paid for it against an icon. So you study pop star Kwando as well? Uh, no. No. It's a uh, drunken fist, but teach their own. Becca now going to the top rope here. Uh-oh. Steadies herself, has time, floats over, rolls through, Janai Kai in. Hatches are there it is. Big boot, we're used to seeing that big boot delivered by Becca, but Janai with the pin now, looking to beat Becca at her own game staying on her and Janai when she has someone on the ground she tends to put them in these submissions where she just wriggles her appendages all over her opponent putting them in positions that are really hard to break out of and it all due in part to that uncanny flexibility that she has and using it to her advantage every oh. time and here it comes oh. here it comes bad memories coming up each one of those each one of those landing flush Becca unable to block now just face washing her look at that no boots needed if you're Janai Kai and two, when you're receiving kicks to an area that's so sensitive, like the upper body, the chest, oh, or the back of the head, uh, you better believe that it's harder to breathe, it's harder to focus uh, with that kind of duress on that part of the body. Here's what I will say about Janai Kai. You can't play with your food here, though. That's a mistake that she's making. Do not give Becca a chance to make that comeback. Don't let her catch her breath. Needs to stay consistent once again. Look at that uncanny flexibility. Look at that. She's controlling the match with all five of those toes. My goodness. Has her right where she wants her. Janai Kai, impressive here in the early going. Snap, Mare, oh. into the back. How do you do? Cover, Cover. might not be enough, though. Only two, says referee Eric Greenlee. Becca still having life in her here, but Janai Kai very much so looking to take out Limitless's top gal, shall we say, with some thunderous kicks to the back. That spinal cord must be just feeling it right now, that reverberation, and could she be going? Uh-oh, high velocity, and she nails it. Every bit of it landing, flush into the back of Becca, covering the center of the ring, too. Only two from Eric Green. Now, as you said, Troy, we have seen Becca go head-to-head -head with hard hitters in the form of Gary J in Lufisto, all-arounders like Kylie Ray. But I don't think that Becca has been in the ring with someone, recently at least, who has, oh my, big boot delivered by Becca on the top rope. Can she capitalize? And she does cross body, but nice floats enough. over. Her own momentum took her all the way over. She's got to get a pinfall here. Has to cover the, has to cover Janai Kai while she's right in the center of the ring. Those kicks might have been enough to temporarily temporarily take out Becca, unable to get that pin. Right now, it's anyone's game, Troy. Perhaps the woman who gets up first is gonna have the upper hand, and it could be Janai, she's up. Up on her feet, swing and a miss. Becca brings her face first into the knee. Ooh. Drop kick of her own, puts down Janai Kai in the buckle, quickly back up to her feet. Incoming on Becca. 
drop kick, flash, flush into the chest. And Janai here staggering. What does Becca have planned off the ropes? Could it be that patented big boot connecting? We'll take her down, throws her around. Wait a minute. Talk about that high rent district craft. Second rope. Shotgun drop kick lands Janai Kai. Into the cover from Becca. Out of position is Eric Greenleaf. Too oh. close to the ropes. And that's where ring awareness comes into play, right? Janai having that foresight to use the ropes to her advantage. And into the later minutes of this contest, I believe, Janai Kai has to figure out Becca here. Look at that shot, that forearm to the face. Oh, misses that boot. Second time she's gone for that, and a third. Oh! oh. Those hamstrings, how do you do? Kick once again to the back of the neck, back of the head. Gotta wonder how much more of this Becca can take. My goodness, precision accuracy. Cover, two, and oh, throw only two. And to note, that kick actually landed right on the back shoulder area of Becca's, and we know that she has previously suffered an injury in that region, so uh, we'll have to see what transpires with the shoulder of Becca. Crowd coming alive here. Grass behind Janai Kai does not like how Becca has treated this audience here in Maine. Headbutt and a forearm takes her out. Look at Becca be looking for here, steps over. Changes positions here. Thinking about positioning is key. Rolls through, nicely done. The international pop icon. Talk about a submission hold. Sam Laterna, can you imagine if Janai Kai can tap out here? If she tapped out right now, she'd give Becca the ultimate satisfaction. She's just inches away, but she might be too far from that rope. Becca has her firmly cinched in, but... Fingertips, just the fingertips getting there in time. And there's that resolve of Janai Kai that I've seen time and time again at other promotions. But Becca is gonna have to stay on her. Oh, Janai fighting back, using the ropes to get up, and oh, could she be going for it? Yes. First oh! Hey, wait a minute, nicely done, Janai Kai. Cover, two, only two. Oh, looking to make quick work here of Becca with this patented submission that Kai's been known to use. She's defeated Trisha Dora with that. Goodness. Gotta lock those fingers though, losing a grip there is not gonna help. That's gonna allow Becca to get closer to the rope. Janai Kai has it locked in. I don't think Becca's gonna make it there, Sam. Right now, Janai Kai has her by the jugular. Becca's gonna have to dig really deep here, and she's up. Oh, Jawbreaker connects. Nicely done by Becca. Smart maneuver. Once again, gets cut back down by Janai Kai. The kick demon. Oh no, measuring her up. Oh, but she misses. Becca had that scouted big forearm to Janai. Janai staggering. Fireman's carry position. What you be looking for here? Samoan drop. Perfect position for her patent at 450, and if she hits it, this one will be over. Becca's feeling it tonight. Up she goes. Can't take too much time. She hits yes. it. Oh my goodness. Cover to Becca's victorious. Here is your winner, your favorite international pop star, Becca. I'm a pop star. Throwing tit for tap there, Sam Laterna. Becca, I'm, I'm such that I'm surprised that she won, but on her laurels, and that's the thing. Her attitude that she's had recent months, she doesn't need to bring that attitude to the table. She can depend on her own morals to get things done. She proved it right there against Janai Kai. Well, oh, I don't want to take away anything from Janai Kai. What a gamer she is. Janai Kai with a tremendous showing in her debut at Limitless, showing that she is a valiant competitor. But Becca once more standing atop the Limitless Mountain. Who will be next? Four wins at Limitless, Troy. Four wins. Talk about four wins on Becca's parameter. Talk about Rip Bison adding six. A lot of people knocking on the door of Ace Romero in that Limitless Wrestling Demon Janai Kai! And the crowd giving a round of applause for Kai. Hopefully this is not the last that we have seen of Janai Kai here in Limitless Wrestling.